Hey doc, so I wanted to share with you a really simple and easy way that you can describe to your patients what's going on with their cervical spine and how it relates to what's happening with their jaw. Now, we've got the research to support it. The research that we have comes from oral care providers, so like your dentist, orthodontist, you know, oral surgeons, their research supports what we do. But patients, a lot of times, they aren't so interested in that. That's more for the oral care providers that are interested in that and how we can relate to them and co-manage cases and those kind of things. But let's talk about for your patients because that's really where this comes together. And so I want to show you a very simple way of showing how this, the cervical spine, is interrelated to what's happening with their jaw here. And so we're going to be looking at that temporomandibular joint. And so a simple way of doing that is this. Explain to them, look, I want you to sit up good and tall. And when you sit up good and tall, this is what you're explaining to your patient. You're going to tell them, I'm going to explain to you how it is that your neck, what's happening with your neck, interrelates to what's happening with your jaw. So if you're sitting up good and tall, I want you to go ahead and open and close your jaw, just, just like that. You'll feel those teeth come together. They come together within a tenth of a millimeter of each other. Now what I want you to do is this, and you're saying this to patient. Now Mrs. Patient, now Mr. Patient. What I want you to do is, I want you to take your head and I want you to go back into extension. Have them go back into extension and open and close their jaw there too. When they do that, you should tell them, now do you notice how your jaw shifts back a little bit? And they'll say, yes, I do notice that. Now this is what I want you to do with your jaw relaxed. I want you to go ahead, I want you to go into flexion. I want you to put your chin down and look down and open and close your jaw and you'll feel your jaw shift forward. Do you notice that Mrs. Patient, Mr. Patient? Yeah, I do. And what do you do most of your day? You're looking down at your phone. Yeah. Do you notice now how it just by having the position of the neck interrelates to what happens with the jaw? So we can work on here the jaw, but we have to work on here as well. That helps them start to begin the process of them understanding how you, the chiropractor, can help them in understanding what it is that you're gonna to do to fix their jaw, because you're gonna not only address here in the cervical spine, but with the specific training we're gonna give you too, you're gonna to understand how you need to adjust this jaw and specific adjustments for that jaw. You don't wanna go in there and just start messing around. You wanna have really specific procedures and processes for adjusting here, as well as what you're gonna do on the back end of that care to make sure that they get the best results possible. So doc, I wanted to share that with you so that you would just have a little thing to explain that to your patients so that they can understand things that you can do to help them. And we'll go into greater detail at the upcoming seminar. Hope to see you there.